Nicholas, Fred, all the way from France and I didn't get a chance to talk to you for the first few days and then today we finally get a chance to talk and what's the first thing I learned? Flight Pass member. Yeah. <laughs> Flying a... in the Tucson Aerobatic Shootout. Yeah, for the first time in America and in Tucson and like I said to you, I saw many, many flights of American people that flying here today and I'm glad to be here. And yeah, it was a good try to, to see your videos before and to know all that stuff and American style too. <laughs> it's looking a little bit because in all the videos um, it looked like bigger, huge runway, but it's bigger than in France. <laughs> And uh, yeah, it's comparable to your videos. So, tell us a little bit about your preparation. How much time did you get to prepare for this event? And oh yeah, good point to talk about. <laughs> because we flew from France to America now 11, uh, 8 days ago. And uh, we arrived last Friday and without the plane. And the boxes we were waiting for were stuck in uh, Paris and then in Los Angeles. And so we lost five days and it was previously five days of training. <laughs> so the boxes um, arrived in the morning of the contest and we have to, with my father, well, uh, we drive to, uh, to, to Phoenix to pick it up, to mount the plane in the van and uh, we arrived 40 minutes before the first round, which was an unknown. Oh. So my father mounted the plane, I learned by the unknown and just uh, behind Andrew Jeski and learned his flight and with Gernot I was talking about uh, some stuff and advice just flew and 1-0 one zero, one zero in the flight but I did it right on time that's, that's very impressive yeah, it's a good story now that's right, but not yeah. so fun when it was <laughs> no, happening no, that no, day no, no, that's all. Yeah. so that was Wednesday yeah. Wednesday morning and then I it seems like the first few days, every time I looked over, your father was working on the plane and was always having some problem. Yeah. Okay, so we took a little break for Mark Leesburg to take <laughs> off with his plane. You uh, And I was saying how it seemed like every time I looked there was some sort of problem your father was having to repair. What was happening? Yeah, so I was saying that uh, uh, we did not have preparation to mount the plane and to set it up. And so after the first flight, we have some problem on radar tray, and one of the push run just come out, <laughs> and the other were to about to come out, so we changed them, and we have problem on the mufflers, which was not um, good enough uh, uh, set, and so after the first day, it was we were very tired because of all this stuff, yes. all problems, and so the second day was better. <laughs> Much well, I think I think there was even one flight where you can hear the sound of the motor change yeah, halfway so through. The mufflers come out from the pipe, and so American style just <laughs> arrive. <laughs> yeah, 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 you got yeah. very American style loud there in the yeah. middle. But we were afraid about the behavior of the motor, and it was okay. So I continued the flight, and I flew well. It was okay, and then yeah, I came back, and nothing in the plane. Just muffler came out and no black uh, shit. So inside. everything was so, everything yeah. was fine. Yeah, it was like magical because my father was brainstorming <laughs> about this stuff, and yeah. And so I just noticed that you were just writing out a for sale sign. Yeah. You were selling this plane for seven thousand US. Yeah, seven thousand US dollars. Yeah, we came from France. It was a long trip, and so we paid. Uh, good price to travel with my boxes, even with delays. <laughs> but yes. uh, yeah, we want to sell it, so I so, te so So tell everybody what exactly is this plane and what is all the equipment inside? So this plane is a um, uh, European factory Krill aircraft. Krill? Uh, made, yeah, Krill. And it's all full composite with uh, 12 uh, GR8911 servos on radar elevator ailerons. And uh, we have uh, two receivers from Futaba, 2.4 GHz, and um, a DA-170 inside with mufflers, KS, and um, yeah, 
power box wire inside mm -hmm. with two lipos. Um, yeah, I think classic stuff for this kind of aircraft. And is this uh, the rudder something custom or this is the style rudder that comes with all planes? This is a stock rudder. It's a brand new version from Sukhoi 29 from Quill. And uh, with this list, little stuff at the end of the rudder, which uh, um, in downline drags the aircraft and which increase the power of the rudder for the freestyle. So in pattern of flight, it's okay. And uh, for freestyle, it's wonderful. <laughs> well, <laughs> and, you, and, and you are one of the few pilots that's flying the same plane for both. Yeah, because of the travel, which costs a lot. Travel, um, again, not travel with two planes. So we can afford it. So he, he had uh, um, quite differences between the two airplanes, but for me, one is okay and I can manage to adapt and to make freestyle routine and to make sequence flight with um, this beautiful airplane. But you have to fly a little more careful with yeah. the freestyle. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's it. <laughs> and yeah, and it's very special here because we are in altitude, 800 meters, and uh, without any training in 3D uh, because of the delays of the boxes, it's quite difficult to adapt and to say, oh, oh, mm, pull up, pull up. <laughs> so yeah, be careful in freestyle. Yeah, well, it was a great freestyle. Uh, yeah. We, we, we enjoyed it, I liked the music. Yeah, but it was a bit special for me because one time uh, the smoke was so dense that I cannot see the aircraft in the aircraft. Yeah. So I just pull up and then I pull down. I haven't noticed that. Well, I don't know what it was supposed <laughs> yeah, to look. Only yeah. you. So, so I was a bit frightened. So you had then, to pull out of your smoke. Yeah, pull out. What is the cloud? And then we see it. So yeah, a bit frightened. In the well, it, it, it all worked out. Yeah. Well, yeah. it was great. Well, thanks for taking a minute to tell us about the plane, your routine, for coming all the way to Tucson for the shootout. Very nice yeah. to meet you, Nicholas. And very glad to be here. You know? with this kind of contest and yeah, the level is very high and we are here to compete but uh, we are also here to watch and to learn something and it's amazing, very amazing. Good, well, glad I'm glad you're here. having fun. Yeah. Thanks Thank you. for taking the time. Yeah.